a generation of worshippers, a generation of the word of God. So today is our Friday rest meditation. So we really going to take our time this evening and meditate. So it's going to be more of worship this evening. I'm just going to speak a few words this evening and we we'll go ahead and rest in our rest in God in our spirit, in our mind. Uh, so, so today's topic is the God who knows us. A God who knows us. I was raised, I was introduced to a, a God who doesn't seem to know me very much. I was introduced to a God who, who gets to be surprised by what I do in the morning. I was introduced to a God who doesn't know what I'm going to do in the next two days. So when I do it, he gets surprised about me. I was introduced to a God who doesn't know whether I'm going to go to hell or heaven. I was introduced to a God who doesn't know my you know, when we talk about the God who knows us, we are not talking about the God who knows my character, who knows how weak I was to be, or how foolish I am. You no, know? He's the God who knows me, the God who knows us, the God who, who, who knows my, my beginning, my end, the God who, who knows what I'm going to do in the next two minutes, in the next three minutes. The God who, when He says He loves me, means that He has seen everything about me and He said He loves me. You know, He's not a God who, whose love is changes based on my, my attitude. You know, I was introduced to a God who, who seems that He doesn't know me. You know, He doesn't know me. So He treats me based on how I come. He doesn't know my tomorrow. He doesn't know what I'm going to do in the next two days, in the next five years. So when I turn to be something else, he changes because he doesn't know me. He gets surprised. He gets disappointed. He gets disappointed because he wasn't, he wasn't imagining that I'm going to do that. He wasn't imagining that you're going to do that. All right? So that was the God I was introduced to. That was a God, a God that gets surprised by what I do because he wasn't expecting that from me. The God, the God who says, child, I am, I am ashamed of you. I'm disappointed at you. You know, I never expected you to do this. You know, the God who has said before me life and death, hell or heaven, and he doesn't know which one I'm going to choose. The God who doesn't know my end. The God who, who doesn't even know my will. Who doesn't know who, which I'm going to choose. How I'm going to end up with. That was the God I was introduced to. Alright, but I have come to know. I have come to know the God who knows us. The God who knows me. From end to beginning. From Genesis to, to Revelation. The God who knows everything about me. You know. So it is actually, when we say we are rest generation, we are rest generation because we have come to know the God who knows us. The us there is talking about the God who, who knows our beginning, our ending from our beginning. There's a scripture pastor sister already here right now. God was saying there, he said, I declare the end from the beginning. No, so I am the predestined, I'm a predestination God. So when Pastor Sissi was reading that scripture, I really felt, I really saw how this selfishness does, did not begin from us, it began from God. God is self. I saw selfishness. Eh? I have said it, it will come to pass. What I declare will happen. My pleasure may come to pass. It was the I, I, I say that you will be correct. You, you are the one that this selfishness began from. 
know, it's me, my will, my power, my purpose, my this. I am the one that declared the end from the But then we thank God that because, you know, who, he is who he is for my good. Yes. Praise God. Yes. He is who he is for my good. He is not a God that changes over my life because of you. He's not a God that you can report me to him and he changes from blessing me. He's a God of himself. He's the almighty God. The, the all-sovereign God. The all-powerful God. The all-knowing God. The independent God from everything. And he is the king of all kings. That is why he said, my world shall stand. You know? So we are not like God in the aspect of becoming selfish and self-centered. We are like God in the aspect of becoming selfless. Amen. Amen. We rest in him, in him which is our true self. Mm -hmm. So when he when Pastor was reading that scripture, I was seeing the selfish God, and I was seeing the self-dominant God. I was seeing domini uh, dominion. I was seeing the God who could protect me, the God whose words is power, whose words is a power, is a word of king. You get me? So you don't need to be equal with God. You don't need to be. You rest in His, in His true self. Amen. In that I have said it. It will come to pass. Oh, thank you. That is why I rest because he is the God that his word comes to pass. His word comes to pass. So this is I want to I want us to share a little bit about this evening about the God who, who knows me, the God who knows us. If you understand it, it gives me rest when I know he knows me. When I know he knows everything, everything about me. It's not a religious God. A religious God doesn't know me. He doesn't know. What I'm going to be. He doesn't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. But there's a God who knows me. There's a God who, it's not just that He knew me. He knows me. He, he met me. He met me. Okay? So, the God who knows me. The God who knows us. The God who knows the, what is my tomorrow. The color of my tomorrow. The God who knows who's going to leave me, who's going to come into me. The God who, who knows me. And He knows me. He's knowing of me. It's life. It's life. It means that I know everything about you and I have set it right for you. So let's go this morning, this evening and say a few things. The first thing about that three points I want you to get this evening. The first point is the true revelation of God is eternity. The God who knows us is eternity God. The true revelation of God is eternity. And eternity has no definition. Eternity has no it has no comprehension, yeah. Eternity has no comprehension. That is why I told you that even the revelation of God we have now is not all about God. Yeah. He just gave us the revelation of Him that we can carry. Yes. Because the eternity it, 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 is, it cannot be comprehended. It has no comprehension. So the only definition of God, the only picture of the of the of the divinity or the picture of divinity of God is eternity. Okay. Eternity is who God is. God is not in eternity. God is eternity Himself. Okay. Who is God? Eternity for me. Okay. Even though yes, He is Father. He is love. He is this. These are the things we can comprehend. Is that is why it's the love of God that passes all understanding. Yeah. That is why it's the righteousness of God that passes all understanding. Is the faith of God that passes all understanding. Is the is the blessing of God that passes all understanding. Because he, everything about God has a cap, have a eternity capacity. He is eternity God, and His love is eternity cap, is eternity love. His joy is eternity joy. His righteousness is eternity righteousness. So his word is eternity word. So if his word is it is finished, then it is finished is eternity capacity word. Boy, it is finished is the it is finished is the word of God that covers heaven and earth. So who is God? The true revelation of God is eternity. It's eternity. Many beautiful things to be said about it. So who is eternity? God Himself. When you understand God is eternity, you understand that God is not in heaven, heaven is in Him. Alright? You understand that eternity is the womb that carries everything. Nothing is outside eternity. Nothing is outside eternity. Everything is in eternity. 
He is eternity family. So when you understand that God is eternity, you understand he is not religious, he is not humanity, he is everything. And everything is him. This is mind blowing. I don't want to go for that so that you will not crack your brain. But he is everything and everything is him. Therefore, if you understand this, this will be you know, wash away every stain of religion, every stain of humanity. You see God in the air, you see God in the bed, you see God in the... He is everything. He is the, he is the him that fooled all in all. All in all. Praise God. Who is God? The true revelation of God is eternity. The true revelation of God is eternity. Alright? So that is the reason why. He is the God that knows me. Because my past, present and future is in between eternity. Alright? God has no past. God has no future. He has no past, he has no future. He is at present. God is all present God. Alright? He is the I amness. He is the I am God. He is not the I, I was or I will be. He is the I am. He is the you can still say he is, he was, he is, he's gonna be, but he is the I am. The past, present, and future of everything is at his presence. So he is the God that knows me. He knows my past, he knows my my present, he knows my future. He is the God that knows me. This is the reason why we rest for the league. This is the reason why, we, because we are under, the, under, the, under the, the, the covering of the God, under the awareness of the God who knows us. We are in the responsibility of the God who knows us. My presence is with Him. My, past, my future is with Him. So He is eternity God. Everything is in Him. God does not, God does not walk from beginning to end. All right. God does not walk from beginning to end. God is at the beginning, the same time at the end. He is in the beginning, he is in the end, at, at the end, at the same time. At the same time. Alright? David like said, though, when you, even if I go, I take my bed to hell, you are dead. You know, anywhere I or anywhere I go, you are dead. <laughs> this is a beautiful God. This is a beautiful picture of who God is. He is the eternity God. And his formula is predestination. So when you first of all understand that God is eternity, there is no other formula that fits him except, except predestination. Predestination is a revelation of that God finishes a thing before he begins a thing. It's a revelation of, of God, of the end. He sees the end before the beginning. You know, predestination is a form of life. If he is eternity, everything is in him. That means that he is aware of everything. That means that he he, he sees the end of the, the thing in the beginning side of him. You know, he he ends a thing before he begins a thing. This is the when you understand that God, the true revelation of God is eternity, you will agree with me that the formula of God is is, is predestination. You understand that God is not a God that, you know that God is a, predestination is a revelation of the independent nature of God. A God who, who finishes your life before he begins with you. Without your knowledge, your awareness, your, your information, your involvement, or your permission, he, God, he is a God that, he said, my counsel will stand. My will, I do everything for my own pleasure. This is it, and his pleasure is our good. Amen. So, it is the, the, the right picture of God, his formula of doing things, is not humanity, it's not religion, it's predestination. He, he, he ends my life before he begins. He sees the end before he begins. And this is the nature of every creator, every manufacturer, every producer. They, sees the, they, they see the end of the thing they want to do before they begin with it. You get me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the see before you want to produce something, you've already seen it. You've already seen how it's going to look like. People don't see it. People have, people have not seen it. Even when you are working on something, you know, that's some, that's some people they show on, 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 on the Facebook, you know, all these uh, Asian people, they are just using some mold to create some houses. 
you know, these guys will be thinking something. I'll be saying, what are they, what are they trying to do? But these guys have already know what they are trying to do. They will be walking, okay. I want to let them begin to fix up. Begin, okay, is it what they want to do? Is it? But they have already known what they want. They are doing. They have already known the, everything they wanted to. They wanted to produce has already been in their mind perfectly. But you that is watching it, you don't know. You don't know. So the, at the beginning, it will not make sense. At the beginning, it will be stupid. It will be these people will be using grass. I don't know. I didn't mean I have some. I just. Something I just show you here, they'll be using that they're in and be digging at the ground. They say, What are they doing? What are they doing? They went and begin to call the, the trees. What are they doing? That, uh, are they, what are they doing? But, but you know, the, the truth is that you know what these people are doing. You, do you know that they know what they are doing? Yeah. Alright? That is what will give you patience to just listen, to wait, and to see. Because you know that they know what they are doing. But you, you don't know what they are doing. And to you, it, is, it looks stupid. You, it really looks stupid, you know. And you, you, but your passion, you, you, your ability to wait is because you know these guys know what they are doing. Yeah. They know. Even when I was a little child, I used to do this healing, healing worship spirit. You know, I used to preach new creations with my goodness of preaching and all that, and the righteousness of God, Christ, and of the, and the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You know, a guy came to my teachings, I said, Pastor Leo, the first, the first thing is that I may not understand what you are teaching, but I know what, I know that you know what you are saying. Yeah, yeah. I will never forget that word that guy told me that day. Yeah. Because, because, because everything I said, I backed it up and I, I clarified it and I was speaking it with boldness. He said, I may not understand all these things you say, but I know that you know what you are saying. You know, so every manufacturer finishes a thing before they begin it. You may not know you are, they are just working, but they have already finished it. This is the true picture of who God is. The God who knows me. I want you to know <coughs> you are known. You are known. You are known. You are known by God. You are known. You are known. The day you're going to die on earth, you are known. It's not going to be based on. That this thing that has no more problem, you do this, you are known. But the only thing that that you, the child of God, gonna rest, gonna rest in peace. You know, you're gonna transit in peaceful realm. Okay? But you, you are known. Because religion give you a mindset, you are the one that chooses your life, whatever you choose happens to you. No, there is a God who knows you. Who knows you, who knows the, the choices you're gonna make. There's a God who knows everything, and the thing that, that knowing is not being aware of it. Knowing is, is the God who fixed it up. Mm. It's the God who fixed it up, and He knows He knows what it, what this person is going to do, and knows what is going to result because He's the one that programmed it. Mm. He's a God. His formula is predestination. <coughs> he finished my life before He began it. You know, when God says, I will, He has done it. When God said, I will, He has done it. And, you know, that was the song, something Pastor Susie was reading, he don't know, God was telling the children of Israel, I will do it, I will do it. Within me, when He was sounding, I have done it. And that was what surely was I achieved on Christ, on the cross. You know, every promise of God in Christ is Amen and, and is Yes and Amen. Alright, so it's a God when we say, child, let's go, yes, it's already done. Mm. So, if, if we know this thing, it gives us confidence, it gives us strength and restful heart. That He is a God who knows me. His true revelation is eternity. He is eternity. There is nothing. If you can define eternity, if you can quantify eternity, if you can comprehend eternity, then you can comprehend God. You know, God is beyond beyond human comprehension because He is eternity. Amen. Everything is in Him. So we will keep resting on this world to be able to dig out some meaning about eternity because eternity is eternity. Eternity is eternity. And His formula is predestination. He is the God who who knew who knew us before He made us. He is the God who God. See, yeah, he's a God who, who knows what he's going to do before he starts doing it. He knew me before, he knew you before he met you. He knew what he was up to. So, this is to make me understand I'm not a mystery. Okay. 
he knew what he knew what it's like some, some of us enter into a relationship, enter into business, enter into some things that we don't know about. We don't know. We just okay, let's see what is gonna happen. But he's a God who knew, who knew you before he, he met you. He knew what is what is gonna be. He knew. So you are not an accident, you're not if you if you have the same mindset with him, the same way we spoke the other day on Wednesday, you know that we rest in the understanding of God. He works based on his own understanding, not based on our understanding. So what really brings us that what really brings rest to us is when we know, when we rest in his understanding. Lean not on your own understanding, but you know, rest in his understanding because he knows what he knew you before he made you. He knew talking to you, I'm talking to myself, and I know, and I'm also going to feed on this word again, I'm going to listen to this again, and you know, it's a God who knows me, I, I, I slept last night with this mindset, a God who knows me, I woke up last night, this morning with a mindset, there's a God who knows me, I, I wasn't taught this before, when I was a child, and then I, I didn't have a picture that he knows me, I have a picture of I'm running a heavenly race. So I don't know if I'm going to win or not. I don't know if I'm going to go. There is no assurance. But I have grown up to know that there is a God who knows me. I, I, I slept in there last night with a bear in, on the pillow of, of, of the mindset of a God who knows me. He knows my tomorrow. He knows everything. And His knowing of me means that He has already finished me. He has already finished, laid out everything about me. The God who knows me. He does, it's not just he knows my name. He knows everything. He knows every thought. It's not even about every thought. He knows my 10 years from now. He knows my 20 years from now. He knows my ending today. He knows my ending from today. And he, it's not just that he knows it. He was the one that fixed it up. I am in a very safe hand. We are in a very safe hand. If you can, we're going to meditate on it this evening. The God who knows me. You're going to begin to go through all those things that you are going through, everything that is before you. Begin to rest on this word, the God who knows me. The God who knows everything. Nothing is uh, he has them. If you understand this, you will not say, it's a devil that have come again and again. It's the God who knows that that thing will happen. It's the God who knows that that person is going to hate you. That there's going to be that, that closed door, that, that open door, that disappointment, that rejection, that appointment, that blessing, that favor. He's a God who is in charge. He's a God who knows. Yeah. So resting on the God who knows that this is going to happen. He knows me. He knows me. I'm not going to spell, spell this out to you. He's a God who knows me. We're going, we're going to rest on this mindset this, this evening. He's a God who knows me. He, he knew me before he met me. Wow. He's amazing. It's amazing. So, nothing is really a mistake in my life. In his own sight, in the eyes of God, it's not a mistake. In the eyes of God, it's not, it's not a surprise. Right? It's not because he knows me. It's eternity. It's eternity. So beautiful. So, we're going to meditate. I want us to really have a time and meditate tonight. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse, verse 4 and, and 5 says. Then the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, He said, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Alright? So this is to prove to you that it's not just that I knew you, I formed you. Alright? I knew you. I knew you before I met you. Yeah. So I also met you. It's not just that I knew you, I knew you and I met you. May God open your understanding. Though, you know, just, just like our worship, I was just with, with, with freedom the other day. Some, some, some people here, even some people like, like divine, even if they are not still following with our worship. But when you begin to get into the spirit of this worship we sing here, you begin to see how amazing it is. Oh, that is why people don't, you know, you know, in this our message, when, when you get the formula, you begin to give you know that every single thing about this message is wow, it's amazing. That is, that is also like our worship. The, the worship of this ministry is amazing. It's amazing. If people can begin to understand it, there will never be worship sessions. You know, the message and the worship side is like a formula. If you don't kill into it, you will not really enjoy it. 
you know, enjoy it. He, you know, he, he, this is so beautiful. He, he, he knew me before he met me. He, he, he told Jeremiah, before I formed you, oh God, this is beautiful. Before I formed you, child, before I formed you in the belly, I, I knew you. And look at what he says. I said, before I, before I, I brought you forth from the womb, I have satisfied you. I will then do a prophet unto the nations. This is so beautiful. This is mind blowing. Mind blowing beyond words you can imagine. But I think that is that we're going to spend our eternity here on earth meditating on this world, breaking this world down. This only world right now, this world alone, is what we, we, we're never going to exhaust it until we leave this earth. Even the next generation is going to dip a lot in it. I, I knew you before I formed you. And before I brought you out of the out of the womb, I have only boy that that four dimensions here knew you, formed you, brought you out, finished your life. You know, boy, this is amazing. Without my concept, my awareness, my involvement, my permission, all of God and none of anything else. This is the true revelation of God. It is eternity, and His formula is predestination. That is it all. That is why we rest in him. Before he formed me, he knew me. Oh, he, he knew me before he met me. Everything you are going through, he knows, family. He knows. God knows. God is aware. God is aware. If you understand these things, you, you, your prayer will change. You, your prayer will not be like as you are talking to God who doesn't know your problem. He doesn't know your problem. I'm talking to him, telling you what to do and what not to do. Child, I know you and I have finished you. Before I formed you, I knew you. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And before I brought you out of the womb, I have already cleared up your life. I have already finished your path. Finished everything. This is amazing. This is so big. I can never get used to this one. I can never get it. I will not even understood anything about this. You know? God needs to open our understanding to understand the eternity yeah. of God here. Yeah. Because any day this thing dawns on us, you become dominion. You will rest in this world. You will not care about anything. Because you know that he knew me before he formed me. And before he brought me, I will sink into us. If he sink into us, that's why we should be coming to church. Because then this is sinking little by little. If we just sink, we will never worry anymore. We will never be scared again. We will never, we will, it never, we will never be frustrated again. If this thing sink into us, then I have been here for three years or more. This thing has not yet sink into us. It has not yet sink into us. And before, child, I knew you before I formed you in the belly. I knew you. And before I, I was the one that formed you, I was the one that brought you out, child. Never a mistake. And before I really brought you out, I finished your life. He's a God of it is finished. He's a God of it is finished. Right? Yeah. This is amazing. So the God who knows me, I want you to, we're going to meditate on it, but I want you to all throughout today, all throughout tomorrow, we're going to just have this, this has been, I've been, I've been, I've been digging on this world, resting on this world, all, all through yesterday, the God who knows me, the God, the God who knows me, he knows me. I was told that he doesn't know. I grew up personally knowing, having a mindset of a God who doesn't know me. A God who is, who, who is determined based on my faith. He will not move until I move. He will not prepare a thing until I, I pray, until I fast. No, but he, he knows me. He knows everything about me to all details. There is a one who knows me. This gives me comfort. It gives me rest. It gives me, you know, it, there is a completeness it gives me. Even if I don't know myself, people around me don't know me. I am misunderstood. But there is a God who knows me. There is someone who knows me. This is amazing. It has a lot to do. Let's read Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 49 verse 16 says and I'm, I'm reading from New Living Translation. It means a new IV. It says see See, the word see there means behold. See. See with the eyes of it is finished, child. See. Boy. The problem is the seeing. The problem of man is the seeing. That's why when we come here, our seeing change. 
The miracle that happens to everyone in Red Generation is the seeing change. You are seeing, you used to see from it is not finished before, now we are seeing from it is finished. Yes. Before even the physical problem is solved, your, 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 your whole attitude about that problem has changed before because your seeing has changed. The seeing is the problem. How you see is the problem in life. Hell and heaven is based on how you see. People are in hell today because of this, the sea, you know. That, a lot of things are happening there because of the sea. We are in heaven today. We are in the rest of God because we see. We are seeing from it is finished. The Bible says, see, see, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your words are ever before my eyes. Your words are ever before me. I have engraved you, child. Is a God of it is finished. Is a God of it is done. If we, you know, I know you might not be able to understand this as deep as it is. That's is. That is why it is good to go back and listen to these messages. Listen to this message. Go back and don't get you because the more you listen to it, the more this is sinking to you. He said, "See, he said, see, I have already, I have already engraved you. I have tattooed you upon the palm of my hands." Your life are ever before me. Boy. Mean that your past, present, and future, child, this is beautiful. Everything I'm gonna go through in this life. Johnny I'm not I'm not alone then. I'm not alone. There is I'm, I, I am team God, you know. I'm with a team God. I'm not alone in this life. So see. I have, I, have, I have written you on the palm of my hands. I have tattooed you, engraved you, you know, on the palm of my Your words, your life are ever before me, child, child, boy. All this good thing I'm going through, God knows. Faith, God knows. He knows you. He knows. So your life are ever before me, before him. John, he knows. God knows. Ah, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows everything. He knows and he's knowing his life for me. His knowing has, has set me free. His knowing means that no evil will come by me. He knows for me. He knows my life. He knows. Ah, God knows me. I need this more world more than you, maybe. He knows. He knows me. He knows whatever that's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know tomorrow but he knows. And he is tomorrow. He says, see, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your lives, your life is ever before me. Your life is ever before me. This is beautiful. So we're, we're gonna meditate on this word this evening. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, child. The word told them is plan. I know the plan, the purpose I have for you. I know the finished work I have already laid down for you. He said the, the, said the Lord, the thought of peace, <coughs> not of evil, to give you an expected end. Child, I know what I have prepared for you. I have engraved you on the palms of my head. I know everything about you and I have already set up the plans. You know, when you are going through the fire, I know what is before you. I know. You know, I, I know the thought I have towards you. I know the thought I, I think of you. I know the reason why I allow that to happen to you. He knows me. He knows the reason, he knows the reason why I am on this path. So, that is the reason why I should not lean on my own understanding. Because he knows. He knows. When Joseph was going through all the things he was going through, God knew. Because he has already laid down a perfect ending for him. God knew it. God knows everything. A lot of people, even Moses, when Moses was going through the wilderness for 40 years and all that. You know, he knew, he knew. He knew that, you know, the, he, he, he has already set a perfect ending for Moses. Come on. And he is a God who knows me. He's a God who has finished me. He's a God who is in control of me. It's a God who is absolutely in control. This is the reason why we, we rest in Him. Thank God He's not a religious God. 
not a God who is working on my based on my faith, based on my believing, based on I, he is a God who finished with me before he began with me. So I am I, I am I am a child of his wisdom. I am literally the wisdom of God. So when he says I know, when he says you are the work, you are my perfect work child, then you are really really seeing literally the wisdom of God. You are God's wisdom. Amen. I am God's wisdom. Mm. Everything. See, we're gonna to meditate tonight because you're gonna see with God's wisdom in that failure, in that disappointment, in that in that ugliness. You're gonna see because you are literally the wisdom of God. When he told when he told Jeremiah, I knew you before I formed you in your bed in the belly, and before I brought you out, I already finished everything, ordained you a prophet. The word ordained you mean I have predestined you, I have finished everything about you. Now Jeremiah, when you read that scripture, when what Jeremiah replied is, but God, I can't speak. Yeah. I cannot speak. So you see what you meant? You see what you meant? Yeah, is this what you meant? Me who cannot speak. You know, so he he refused to see. That when he says, when God says, I knew you, child, I am, you are my perfect work, means that everything about me is God's wisdom. Even my, I can't see, my weakness is, when you begin to see your weakness as God's wisdom, <laughs> you begin to see everything as God's wisdom. But that is how life comes, that is what brings you out of your what brings you out of your addiction or weakness or all that is when you see God's strength in your wisdom, in your weakness, when you see God's strength, God, God's wild wisdom in your foolishness, you know, when you see God in everything, you know. He purposely allowed Moses to have a tongue problem because he wanted to be his mom. So, we go to meditate this evening and you begin to see. God's wisdom. You are literally God's wisdom. Your eyes, your it's not beyond your, your physicality. If you have a problem with your with your big head, like uh, divine has a big head, like if you have a problem with a big head, <laughs> or have a problem with your big eyes, or now begin to meditate on that, begin to see God's wisdom. This is God's wisdom. If you have a problem with the way you walk, the way you talk, you, so this is a way to begin to see God's wisdom. So if you have a problem, if you, have a, if, you, if you don't have a problem with your body, look beyond that. If you have a problem in any side of your life, you're going to see God's wisdom. Maybe you have a problem with your parents, you have a problem with how you are born, you have a problem with, you have a problem with your brothers. God, why did you give me this brother? Why did you give me this sister? You have a problem of, you know, God, why didn't you give me a brother? Why didn't you give me a sister? Why didn't you give me... Now begin to see God's wisdom in it. Begin to see, begin to see God's wisdom in it. You know, God, why didn't you make me a, a, a black man or a white man? Or, or God, begin to see God's wisdom in it. Begin to see, you are God's wisdom. That is how to meditate. We are rest, rest generation and we, every Friday we get into meditation. So, for I know the thought and that I think towards you, said the Lord. You know, I know, child, I know. And this thought is a thought of peace. This plan is a plan of peace. There is no evil. Predestination is a revelation of divinity security, divinity safetyness. When I know God who finished me, I know there is no evil. He selected everything. He said that everything that he allowed to come my way is perfect. His life, his glory, his glory, his glory. In any way it looks, in any way it appears. Boy, if you get this, we are growing. I want you to grow with me in this revelation. I want you to grow. We see beauty in ugliness. We see strength in weakness. We see in wisdom in foolishness. Because beyond, beyond the sky, beyond the cross, beyond the cross is the glory. Beyond the cross is the love. Amen. Beyond the pain is the purpose. Praise God. It's a praise. It's a blessing. Beyond the shame is a blessing. It's a double blessing of God. Beyond the enemies is a, 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 a double prepared. It's an amazing blessing. 
So this is it, this is it. There is no devil in any way. We are, if you understand that God actually finished with you before he began with you, if you understand from the beginning of your life, the devil has never been a part of you. The devil has never, before the devil was created, God finished your life. I knew you before I formed you and I finished your life. So even if there is a role the same that the devil is playing, okay, he invited them to play it, but they have no, they have nothing to add in it. He is the master planner. Your life is finished. Anything that happened to you. So but it, it, it matters in a way that our ways are not his ways, family. You know, when we if you can put together the message we preached last last day, which is on Wednesday and Today, you put them together is the God who, who works in our lives according to his own understanding and purpose. And he is a God who knows me. He knows me. So, so you, you begin to relax. He knows the path. He knows time for you to, I have led the path for you and in this path you'll be heartbroken. You go through people who don't like you. You go through, you meet wrong, wrong, wrong people. You will not be faithful in the aspect of relationship, right? <laughs> so that is wisdom. Oh, that is wisdom. That is not devil. That is not that is wisdom. You will not be light, that is wisdom. You will not be light, that is wisdom. So you will not do well in school, that is wisdom. You know, you, you will, this and this will happen, that is wisdom. You begin to see, because he is the one who, who arranged your life and he knows the path. He knows me, he knows the path, he is the one. So, you, the meditation, you, you know, all these ways you think, you have problems, you know, you, you have some questions, you begin to see God's wisdom in it. That's how we're going to meditate tonight. Because it says, I know you, and I know, the, I know the plan I have for you, I know the plan I have set for you. And this plan is a plan of good, not of evil, to give you a better end. Amen. Amen. So before we meditate, we, we rest in the God who knows us, and who is completely in control of our lives. The reason why we are resting in Russia is because we've come to know that He knows us. And he is completely in control. There is a realm beyond faith, human faith. There is a realm beyond human involvement. There is a realm beyond fasting and praying. I mean, there is a realm beyond going to the mountain. There is a realm beyond speaking in tongues. There is a realm beyond confession. There is a realm beyond humanity. There is a realm beyond all this for me. There is a realm of divinity, the kingdom of God. A realm of predestination, a realm, a realm where God is independent of humanity, independent of me. His blessing is based on who he is, not based on who I am. Everything about me is on, on God's goodness alone. Everything about me, this is, a, this is a kingdom that Jesus came to establish upon our lives. So that is the reason why we are rest in generation. Because we have Tapped into a realm that is beyond human faith, family. I mean, beyond believing and confessing, we have tapped. There is a realm beyond that. There is a realm called eternity, family. I and mean, this eternity is a realm of God alone. Humanity is a realm of man. There is a realm called eternity. He is a God that is timeless and he operates in time too. Amen. He's a God that is independent of me. Me, me. You know, so when you know that my life is already finished before, uh, yes, that means that your life, your talking or not talking, you cannot affect what is already finished. You've come late, your mistake came late to stop your blessings. Because your poor boy, your blessing, the kingdom blessing is a blessing that is independent of you, independent of me. So we rest in the God who knows us. Who knows our end from the beginning and who is absolutely in control without me, without you, without us. That is the reason why we rest. The God who goes, who has gone before me, 
and has made every group way to be straight yeah. without my involvement, yeah. without my permission from it, without my awareness. This is grace. This is grace. I was talking to my friend, I said, the true grace, the true grace is the understanding of it is finished, the understanding of predestination. That is the true grace. That is the true grace. The true grace is a God. God's involvement comes 100%. I knew you before I formed you. And I finished your life before I brought you. Amen. The God of it is finished. Uh -huh. The God who doesn't begin with me before he began with me. Before he doesn't begin with me. He doesn't begin with me before he, you know, except he finishes with me. I am a finished work. I knew you before. He knows me because I am a finished work in his sight. So we're going to go into meditation this evening. We're really going to have a time. We rest in Him, the, the God who knows us, the Father who knows me. The God who knows me. There was a day I was asking for faith. You know, were you? Did you know when Elijah was born? I feel it was a serious daughter. She didn't know when Elijah was born. But it even made me that, that I carried Elijah. So there is an ability of knowing, there's an ability that when this child grows up, I knew when this child, I knew I was alive, I was I, in existence before this, I knew when this child does not exist. It's a capacity of God, do you get me? You know, I knew when this child does not exist. This child is running around, I knew, I, I was alive before this child does not Do you get me? This is amazing, there's something I want to communicate here. He knows me, he knows everything. Faith says if if, if, Elijah, if sometimes Elijah is just jumping around like this, but I, he said, I know and I, I, I was aware before this when this child was not around. <laughs> I carry this child. You know? That is that is that that is that that is that something. Before before me, he was he was alive, he was in control. Mm, wow. He was in control. This is beautiful. So Sissy was alive, but the sister had been eating, breathing, driving in, in window before faith, faith came into his sister's <laughs> Before faith came into his sister. So I wanted to begin to look at there is a realm beyond human involvement. There's a realm beyond human involvement. You know, this lady could do one or two things even before faith, before faith was conceived. You know, is it not that she cannot do it without faith? Yeah. No, 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 God is, he, he, he was complete without my involvement. You know, he doesn't need me to be complete. I need him to be complete. He was fine without me. That is why if, if, you, are, if you are single, you need to be actually complete before you enter into a into relationship because no relationship will complete you. No relationship will complete you. You need to... You need to be you need to be complete before you meet. Not it's only God that completes humanity. That is why you're not looking for who will complete you, who will love you, and that is when they will break your heart more because you are telling you are making them you are you are you are demanding what humanity can never supply to you. You know, and all, all of these people who are as up to you, you are filled up. Your soul is filled up, and nothing else can fill up your soul except God. No humanity, no love can feed your soul except God. No human love can do it. I had low self-esteem, but I came from a very good family that loved me so much. Just like that, I came from a family. But your family love can never feel your love, your, 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 your inside. There is a, there's an inward, there is, there is a soul that only God alone can fill in. Yeah. I was loved in my life, I was celebrated, but I was insecure. Until I met a love that filled up my soul. Yeah. You know, so God was complete without us. So we cannot handle the move in his life. You know, we need him to be complete family. So he, he doesn't need our faith. He doesn't need our confession. He was okay without us. And he, he is able. Amen. And he, he relates with us based on his own completeness. It takes a woman who has love to really love you. A woman, the person who is looking for love will not love you. Even when it comes to you, you want to take love, you want to take love. But it takes someone who has love to love you. You know? <laughs> so let's not go into that right now. 
I love you. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? Man? What do you do that? I feel that all of you. You better receive love from God so that you can give men. <laughs> <laughs> you can always say, God, till you receive it, till this love is filled up from God. You just go to men and just, for, just you know, become a nagging, nagging, you are demanding more. But when you come into a life, you are already feel up. Boy, you become a blessing. And these people, you become a, you have something priceless. Sometimes I know that everybody can pay anything to have you. The person can find himself opportune. To have you. So he is a God that is independent of us. He knows me. He knows everything. And everything about me is his wisdom. Everything. Everything about me. So let's meditate on this word this morning, this evening. Let's go through. I want you to go through your life. Go through your life from A to Z, from anything your mind can imagine this evening. And you begin to see, wow, this is God's wisdom. I never knew this is God's wisdom. I never knew this is God's wisdom. Begin to see God's wisdom in everything about you. In everything about you. Let's see. We have like 20 minutes to meditate this evening. Let's just meditate on Let's go through. Let's have a journey. Because this is actually what rest generation is all about. That is, Fridays are set up for this. For training up your mind and your, your heart, your mind, your emotions. In seeing your life in the wisdom of God. Which is the finished work of Jesus. Seeing your life in the realm of it is finished. Seeing your life in the formula of predestination. He is my God. He is. He knows me. He knows every thought. He knows my life. He knows the time I'm going to be born. He knows the age I'm going to spend in this life. So family, relax. He knows where you're going to go. No one determines it. Only him. It's not going to be based on what you eat. It's not going to be based on coronavirus. He knows. He's the one that sets the timing. He's the one that sets the moment. And the blessing is that we are the children of his heart. We are safe, family. We are safe. We are safe. I'm safe because he knows me. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know me, I know that my departure in this earth is not going to be by plane crash, it's not going to be by accident, it's not going to be by you. It's not going to be horrible, Jesus. Family, we are in the rest. I want you, I want you to, I'm the, I'm the one talking because I'm the one, I want you to make use of your mind right now. I want you to make use of your mind. Just go through your life. Look, look beyond whatever I'm saying. Go through your life. You know yourself. All those areas you have been, you have been very scared to confront because you don't really know what it's all about. Now confront them with the eyes of it is finished. See, behold, I have engraved you on the palm of my hand. You are written on the palm of my hand. Your, your lives are ever before me. Wow, it's beautiful. So when we know God, when we know what God is doing, 
When we lean on all his own understanding, the confusion will disappear. <laughs> wow. He called me and gave me this revelation, which is very unique and very unusual, and many people don't fit into it. So I rest in his wisdom. I rest in his wisdom. This is the path that he will take me and he's taking me. A path where people are very unstable, in the midst of people who are full of self, full of. I rest in him. If I had my way, I would have allowed him to be this way. Is the best is wisdom. Rest in you, God. Family, please don't mind me. I, I want you to, if not that, all the things I'm saying, I would have been saying them in my mind, but just go ahead and be with you and your God right now. You're going to go through. Maybe it's your eyes that you don't like. You're going to see God. You're going to make peace with that right now. And when you are doing that, we are really activating the presence of God upon that situation. We are activating the kingdom of God upon that situation. Maybe you don't like that you are born a female. You're going to make peace with that. That is, that is God's wisdom. You don't like you are born a male. You're going to make peace with that. You're going to make, you're going to, when, you, when you begin to say, okay, God, this is your wisdom over my life. This is really wisdom. When you say that, immediately you say that you have activated God's presence, you have activated anointing, you have activated the, the system of life of God. Maybe you are born with a, 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 a big stomach, maybe you, know, maybe you are born with, with a, a sickle cell or a blood cell or anything. We're going to make peace, we're going to, we're going to see God's grace, we're going to see God's goodness, we're going to see God, this is your wisdom, this is not bad. My life is not a function of humanity, it's a function of I knew you before I found you, child. I knew you. When you begin to see that area right now, you begin to see the mountain of God is being steered up. I want everybody to participate in this meditation right now. Everyone. I want you to cruise, cruise, cruise into the journey of it is finished right now. Through, through, through your mind, with your mind. I am God's wisdom. I am God's wisdom. Everything about me is God's wisdom. Honestly, if we have come to a place we are coming to this revelation, how I wouldn't pass a few hours have been talking right now. I would have just everybody would just be silent and be just go through, but it seems that if I don't talk, it seems that some of you are mind with good luck. And even if you are just in, in tune with me right now, just cruise, just everybody, there will be silence everywhere, and we just have a moment of meditation, and we just cruise through the past, the fa past failure, past relationship failures, past everything, past mistakes, past weakness. We're going to see God's wisdom. We're going to see God's wisdom in death. We're going to relate your life right now on the things that are not working pleasantly. Please, family, I don't want to talk right now. I really want to meditate. I want to go through because this church has not. I want to see God's wisdom in how He has been leading me in this church. I want to take your time right now. I really want to take my time. Let's give ourselves five, ten minutes of personal relationship with God. Just cruise in your mind right now.
I mean, if you have any, don't have anything to meditate, I begin to remind yourself the things. But the Lord says, He knows me, has gripped my hand, my, He has written my hand, my life on the palm of His hand. Begin to remind yourself of His words of it is finished. Fill your mind with the finished work of Christ. And I want you to begin to meditate on your future. The God who knows my past and present still knows my future. Why don't you just go into this journey with your mind right now? Bring everything under the needs of it is finished. Bring their needs on the finished work of Jesus, past, present, and future. I draw confidence knowing that I'm safe. Everything's gonna be fine. All things are working together for God. Nothing sudden is going to happen to me. God is aware of my life. He has fought every battle before me. He has set everything alight. Before me is life and life and life alone. Before me is blessing. In any shape, in any form, it's going to come to it's going to come to me. Like it's a blessing. In my imperfection, I see his wisdom, I see his perfectness. He made me imperfect this way so that I will, I will be free from the wrong people and I will be attracted to the right ones because he's the only ones who accept me in my imperfection and the right ones. That is how to see God's wisdom in your imperfection. Your imperfection is a security, it's a dog. It's a dog barking, oh, 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 and, uh, and it's chasing the wrong people away from you. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a electric fence that is making sure that the wrong people will never come your way. You don't know just that, that just as you are is divine for me. Just, just as you are, you know, if in this divine realm, in this, in this divinity realm, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about people in this realm of life. Everything about you is a blessing, it's a blessing. You know, that, that, that everything, that wrong car, that situation is chasing the wrong people away. It's chasing the wrong people away. So all oh I see your wisdom in my life, Lord. Your wisdom is all I see, Jesus. Wow, see your control of my mother. Of my brothers and sisters, they are control of everything. This is not saying for me in order to say it through your mind. Control of everything. You hold my life on this on your hands. You determine who comes to me, who stays and who goes. My life is already finished in your hand, oh God. I'm loved, I'm blessed, favored. Wow. wow. Nothing is against me in this life. All things are working together for my good of God. I am so blessed that I am free from the will of man. I'm free from my own will. I am a prisoner of your will, of God. A prisoner of your blessing. I'm a prisoner of life. I've been redeemed from death. I've been made captive. I've been made a prisoner of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because only life is before me. I'm a generation of light. Your light is shining upon my path. Your light and your light and your light is shining brighter. Brighter and brighter and brighter, Jesus. I'm like, a, I mean, I'm like a city set on a hill which cannot be hidden. A blessing is not in the hand of man. It's a finished blessing. It will come to me at the right time. Only your will is happening. A kingdom has come upon my life. Your will is done. A generation of the will of God, a child of God's will, this is who I am. This is 
who I am, even when I am not aware. Even in my weak moment, Father, you are in control. Even when I can I can't think that all things are working together for my good, you are still in control because it's not about me, it's about you, Father. My future is a finished future. My two years from now is finished, God. There is no sudden death over our lives. Over everybody that is in this place. Father, we have two years from to come. We have three years to come. We have five years. We have ten, twenty years to come. Wow, Father, you have blessed us with, blessed us with long life. Lord, you have blessed us with long life. You have blessed us with long life. You have blessed us with long life, Father. You have redeemed us from the world of wickedness. In our 50 years, 60 years, 70 years more to be in this earth, we now have an encounter with evil, Father. We are redeemed from death. Only blessings and favors. Even if they come in a disguising form, it only ends in life blessings. No evil we have not. We are secure. Nothing wrong will go, nothing will go wrong in our families, God. Anything that will happen to our brothers and our sisters that will affect the joy of God in our lives will not happen. Because of us, they are safe. They are secure. Whatever that will happen affect my joy. <laughs> I mean, this is how God deals with. This is how God protect my family. Eh? This is how God protect my family. No matter how crazy they will be out there, whatever, because they are in a situation when if something bad happens to them, it will make me unhappy. It will crush my world. God will save them because of me. That is why you are a blessing to your generation. You are a blessing. A blessing. A lot of things that there are no men that, that God removed from happening in this world because you are in existence. Because you are in existence. We give you all the praise of God. Only life I see, blessings all over me. I see your blessings of my life. I don't know what is going to come my way, but there is, there is a rejection before me, God, I know you are there. Father, I don't know how long you will take this church in the, the journey of loneliness, but I am I'm restful because it is your wisdom, God. It is your wisdom. The blessing of this church is not based on us, it's based on you. You know what you are doing, and I'm, I'm, I'm at rest what you are doing. And you've always proven the best. Always giving me qualities. We rest in the God who knows us. We rest in the God who knows us. We rest in the God who knows us. Is there anyone in this place that is still afraid of something? That means you have not rested it. When you look at your your past, is there anything you are regretting about? That means you have not yet, yet rested in God right now. Right now you are right now at your future. If you don't feel as if you are on top of the world, then you have not yet rested it in God. Those challenges that you left coming to church right now, now you are seeing it in the eyes of it, it's finished. You see how relaxed you are, you see how you see how blessed you see they don't mean anything, their power have been removed out of you. You see that this environment right now has come your naps, it's come your you just everything about you just relax, you, know, you just know that the past present is taken care of. Now look what about the future? What do you see? All I see is God, I see his blessings. So I'm walking away from this place this, this evening, being refreshed, being fully refreshed. 
Wow. Fully refreshed. And the confidence I see me right now. And this confidence is not vanity confidence. It's the confidence that comes knowing that he knows me. Knowing that I rest in the God who knows me. The God who has engraven my life on the palm of his hand. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. My, my life is ever before him. I am a finished life before God. That's why it is good to have a church, eh? A place where we remind ourselves these things. A place where we remind ourselves that I am a finished work in the hand of my Father. I am a finished life, a finished destiny. And tomorrow is finished. Everything is going to be fine. All things are working together for our good. So for dear ladies and dear Lord, we thank you. For this reason, God, we thank you. Wow, there's, there's a complete peace in my heart. There's a complete rest. I, I, I'm like a, a cup that is full. I, I'm already full. I'm, I'm full with God's presence and rest. Confidence knowing that it is finished. Wow, thank you, God. Thank you for this, Jesus. Wow, this is so beautiful. The God who knows me. I say, God, up there or in here or anywhere he is within me, anywhere, as a God who knows me, as a God who is absolutely in control of my life. I'm secure. I'm so secure. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. This is so beautiful. Only his will comes to pass. Only God's will comes to pass. That blessing is gonna to come to you unconditionally. Wow. Help us to rest in this. The thing there is that as we keep coming to church, it's gonna do this eternity. We'll keep growing on this. It's not yeah, we should come to this point where everything about us have come into settlement. God is in control. So you will not be running after that man, you will not be running after that woman. You just know that your blessing will fall at your feet, family. Just relax. Me, Pastor Fem, I'm going to grow in that. All of us growing together. So I'm so happy that we, we actually had a beautiful time of rest because we missed it for a long time. That is what we do on Fridays. A beautiful time like this. Our Father, we love you, Jesus. Coming back to me, I love worship. Son of a I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. 